Part 2, 10 MHz uh, square signal coming out from the GPS. Let's have a look on the new scope. Um, it seems nicer, but it's not. Let me pick the bandwidth. For a square wave, we need a lot more bandwidth. Let's turn this thing off. Now we have the full bandwidth instead of the 20 MHz. And oh, we got something interesting. We got some ringing uh, from the GPS that is not able to generate a, a clean signal. Uh, we saw a little bit of it with the old scope, but it's more clear now with the new scope. Uh, let's do the same kind of thing that we were doing before. As other frequency, use the counter. Select the counter settings. Check, of course, which channel you are using. Uh, statistics, you could turn it on. And we got an adjustment here. We could go to seven decimal. It will say no, we are at limit with six decimals. So, but it's a lot nicer to play with six decimal. Um, statistics min max period thing like that let's remove that let's remove that we know that it works let's do the same thing again with instead measurement uh, got almost the same if not a little bit more item vertical uh, other is compared between two cattle and horizontal we were adding frequency, rise time, fall time, width of the upper, width of the lower part. So this is the statistics that we got here. We could uh, simply click over here and show the statistics for each one at a time. and uh, it's quite <laughs> quite long display but instead of having that kind of a display you could also pick on the top go to setting i will try to use stat setting you could activate a table to see the result uh instagram and uh, Let's have a look at it. So instead of a story over time, you have some kind of a display of each of the parameters that you want. Uh, let's pick one of those. So this is the width. Again, you could remove it. Instagram of the width of the upper let's remove that we also have the fall remove that and rise time and the frequency on the top so frequency let's have a look at this one so we sort of pick it and change the display to have the uh, scale now we got the scale and we could have a slightly better display so it's 10 megahertz we could reset the statistics frequency reset statistics we would start again from scratch 10 megahertz uh, there is another way to to look at those results uh, it's true uh, Result table, uh, restore default setting. No, this is not what I want. What I want is window, result table for measure, add. And now we got period frequency, rise time, fall time with negative positive. So that's all of them. We could move it over here. And you could see all the results one at a time, but you could also 
use window the measurement that you've selected add and now we got only what we want uh, right what remain is rise time and frequency and again we could add up to five so let's add again the fall the width of the top and the bottom and now it's kind of easier to to look at compared to this thing so frequency you got the same result over here in this table and uh, well you don't have graphics that is history over time the old scope was better for that but again we got almost the same so you could scroll over this remove that table we simply pick the top remove all are you sure you want to delete all yes okay let's play now with only the rise time and the fall time and just remove some of the item on the display go back to no it's this clicking area is small measure rise time fall time and i go directly to settings and i will activate the threshold threshold and indicator activate in the same time it's kind of weird, the indicator is 5 to 90, so we need to fix this. Let's put 10 as a standard, and that, let's have a look at it. Uh, the cursor is showing where it triggers. We got two. Um, we would activate only this statistics over here, but basically with the two cycle, we see where it, where it goes. Fall time. If we pick rise, go back. Now we see the one that it picks, and um, I will activate the manual cursor because there is a, an issue not with the scope, but with the uh, the actual tray. So I will put exactly the same manual cursor at the same position where it sample. I would say the top and bottom of the shape and once that's there let's use the fall go to setting um, and for the fall 90 to 10 and the uh, the amplitude is set uh, with those parameter here so you could you could select manual and pick where where the top is sample so the top of the shape of the uh, square wave right now it uses the histogram but it could also use the min and max and you will see the effect over here so my cursor are almost at the same place i set min and max for the top slight offset but look at the bottom now at the bottom if i set mix and max so it will go to zero percent of the amplitude just because of this ringing so it's not the right place let's put it back to instagram and for the top it was also nice and uh, we could put this thing back to auto and now we got back at the right place we could also uh, play with the area where it select the uh, uh, the place for the sampling right now it select the entire uh, window what we could pick on the zoom area so it says open the zoom section get rid of this use this uh, place we activate the zoom over here and we could reduce to two nanosecond and now we ask us to put the window at the right place where we want to have the sampling so it was asking for something like this is the down but go up to the first rising and sometimes it fails to move it i don't know exactly what is forcing it 
to stay there. It's the second time. It do that, so the, the way to correct it is uh, not clear. Go here, fall time, setting, automatics on the zoom area. So we select one over here. If I move it to the left, to the next one, doesn't select it. Try again, playing with the setting, manual, main, now it's select there, it doesn't want to be there, min max auto zoom, now it's there. So I, I'm not, I'm not sure what, what's happening, so there is a down. Let's go to the next window. Over here. Now it's able to switch. So it's able to, to pick the window, but I'm not sure what's happening when I select it. Instead of fall, let's do a rise. I just pick the rise, just pick the one. So it's not in that place that I want to trigger on it. So here's the rise and it select one. And there is another at the start of the window. Another cycle away. And now it correctly works. So I'm not sure when it's activated correctly, but uh, you, you figure it out. Um, I'm more interested into the fall time that is faster. Um, let's select it again. Um, Rise time, remove, it automatically switch to the fall. And uh, now we could play with the cursor, but now I know exactly what to do. Uh, with just setting, instead of the zoom area, I will use the entire window, automatics again. And now I will get rid of the zoom area because I don't need it. So here's the shape and uh, I will pick the one at the center uh, trigger in, on the rise boat. This is the rise, this is the fall. On the fall, put it at the center and zoom on it. This is the rise trigger on the fall the fall time I could go up to two nanoseconds so the curse the white cursor is a fixed cursor that we've set earlier and it's not exactly the same place that uh, the scope is trying to sample because it doesn't see all the entire uh, square wave so we could adjust it or force it I would say uh, with the two Cursor. So instead of 90 and 10, we could force the 10 to be slightly lower. Something that made shape. So probably something like that. And now we could reset the statistics. Uh, zero is probably too low. Increase it there. So either you change the trigger amplitude or you force it into absolute and then you select the voltage. Uh, but you have to make sure the voltage makes sense. So we'll lower the up, raise the lower, and then we got something that is more stable. Um, now that we figure out we set the statistics again, and now we got something interesting. 1.8 average of, I would say, lowering rising time, falling time, 1.8. If we compare to the old scope, it was something like 2.1. So you have to, you have, to have a clean, 
a clean square wave or a clean sine. It is a 10 megahertz, 10 megahertz sine wave. You, you are probably okay with the 30, 40 megahertz scope. But for a square wave, you need something a lot faster. Uh, and this is, the, this is the way to make sure that you're sampling correctly the edge. If you downgrade this to see not enough sampling, um, we could have a look at the, at the display. Now it's too small and it will indicate something in the two do something so you need you need to zoom on it if to have a, a good sampling so that's about it for the 924 